What up guys? It's Chris with Bottle Cat Barbecue. Today I'm making a spatchcock chicken and I'm going to throw it onto my pit barrel cooker. Now you guys haven't seen me use this thing yet so I need to show you how I rock out with this thing. I got some friends coming over tonight um, so I'm making two of these birds. Um, we're going to inject them with some, some butter and do, get some good barbecue rub on them. It's going to be delicious. Alright, coming close. We'll take a look at it. All right, so there's lots of videos out there of how to spatch cock a chicken. So I'm not gonna explain how I, how I do it. I'll just put this thing on, on speed dial and uh, you guys can just watch. All right. So I just realized I've been calling the spatchcocking. We're not actually spatchcocking. Spatchcocking is when you uh, take out the, um, the bone, backbone just like I showed you just now, um, but then you just flatten it out and you grill it like that. I'm actually dividing the whole thing in half because I'm cooking in my pit barrel. I'm gonna hang each half. So that's what I'm doing. All right, so these things are ready for some injection. Now I have two whole sticks of butter here. Now, I don't know it's a lot, but um, basically it's one whole stick per bird. Uh, and each of these is about six pounds each. Um, so, got the just the butter. I'm also gonna cut it with some chicken broth. Just a little. If I had to guesstimate, maybe half a cup. Mix in there. Also, you get some extra flavor in there. And I'm gonna use the, the AP rub from Killer Hogs. Basically it's just salt, pepper, garlic. Get a good dash in there. Don't need a whole lot because we're also, we're also gonna be rubbing the outside. Get that mixed in. All right, got our injection ready. Set that there. All right, and just use a regular injector, whatever you have. Um, any supermarket has these things, Fry's, Walmart, any place, so. There, and I'm wearing this glove because once we're done with this, I wanna be able to use the rubs. Um, so I just pull off the glove and have a clean hand. All right, so when you're injecting, you wanna inject several places. You wanna dive in, and as you, as you push the injection in, you pull out. So you're getting it in and as you move out. And kind of put your thumb over the hole where it doesn't squirt out like that. So it's gonna happen no matter what, but. You all see that meat plumping up. all over. The last thing you want to do is any butter that ran out, just go ahead and coat the skin because we're going to use it like a binder. It's also going to help the skin crisp up inside the smoker. Okay, now we're going to do our rubs. So, as a base layer, again, salt, pepper, garlic. Now, when you're doing the front, front, gotta make sure you lift up the little arm there and get under there, get it all over the skin. 
This is where all the flavor is going to come from. I'm going to make sure it's everywhere. Okay, at this point, I'm going to treat the birds a little different. Um, one of them is going to get the loot and booty, everything rubbed. Um, a local Arizona guy, he goes all over for Green Mountain, killer team, killer rub. And then on the other one, we're going to use my, my favorite right now, the Cosmos Sweet Honey Pecan. I, I pretty much push, put this on almost anything, but chicken is, this is my go-to. Okay, last thing to do because we're using the pit barrel, hooks, because we're hanging. So what you want to do is you want to find the big thick part of the breast and the back from the back, going up inside. Make sure you grip it tight, hook through. It's gonna hang just like that. And down this side. If you have that breastbone, just go ahead and poke right through. It's gonna even help hold it even better. All right, All right time to get these things on the pit. Uh, the pit's running about 280. It's actually almost 290 right now. It's really high, but that's all right. Let's get these things on. Also, I'm doing some ribs right now. This chicken usually takes about two hours. Um, with, the, with the pit running a little higher right now, it might be a little closer, but we'll keep an eye on it. All right, guys. So we are at the hour and 40 minute mark on this chicken. Um, let's take a look at it. I just tempted it. We're sitting at about 150 to 160, depending on where we're looking. Uh, and obviously we need to go to at least 175 on parts of it, but just look at that. Look how beautiful that is. And they all look like that too. Alright. Like I said, I just tempted so I don't I don't want to leave this open for too long. I just want to show you where we're at right now. So God those look beautiful. Alright. So like I said, it should, normally takes about two hours and we're right on schedule. So if we're about 150 to 155, um, at least another half hour. Um, I have spritzed. I spritzed about every, well, I waited for the first, uh, uh, for 45 minutes. Then I started spritzing, and the spritz I used was uh, two parts apple juice to one part uh, apple cider vinegar. Um, that's just the standard mix I have around here that's really easy to use, so that's what I was using. All right, just pulled the chicken off. We are good. Take a look at that. Just look at the skin on that, golden brown. Juices are just running out of this thing. You know it's juicy. All right. We're going to let this cool down a few minutes, and we'll give it a test. All right. We're ready to test these things out. Pull off the hook. Now pull off a piece of this rest. Juice is running off of that. Ooh, this thing. Oh, yeah. You can see that smoke ring on there. The light's not good right here. Sorry, guys. All right. You got a little better view of that. Look at the juice on that.
はい。Tell you, if you have an injected with butter, you really should. I mean, there's all these all these tales about this butter makes everything fattier and health unhealthy. Don't trust the skinny cook. This is just so good, and the skin is spot on. All right, well, obviously I got people waiting in the wings. Yeah, wings. Um, so, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, again, I'll put all the notes in the description down below. If you like this, please give, give me a thumbs up. And subscribe if you like. I'm st still trying to get my hang on all this. But let me know how I'm doing. And I hope you guys are cooking away. Keep, keep going.